everyone today I will teach you on how to fasten the drawing paper to the drawing board and how to make a borderline are you ready okay before we proceed these are the drawing tools and materials needed drawing board drawing paper pencil four strips of drafting tape we have here foot rule triangle it can be 30 by 60 by 90 degrees or 45 by 45 by 90 degrees okay this time we're going to use 30 by 60 by 90 degrees and of course our c square okay let's proceed to the proper use of T square okay first is we're going to place the head of the T square against the working edge of the drawing board okay like this this is from the left side of your drawing table if you are right-handed but if you are left-handed on the right side okay. since I'm right-handed I will place my uh, t-square the head of the t-square on the left side okay slide the working head of the t-square against the working edge of the drawing board okay Take note, the two edges should be constant contact until the desired position. Okay, next. This time we are going to proceed for the placing the drawing paper to the drawing board. Okay, how we are going to fasten. Okay. Let us set first this C-square on the drawing board. Then, the working edge of your T-square must be parallel to the C-square. Okay, it can be approximately on the center of your drawing board okay let us try here okay then let us check for the vertical edge if it is parallel or perpendicular we're going to use the triangle this is a 30 by 60 by 90 degrees triangle okay that is accurately done okay the edge of your drawing paper is perpendicular to your drawing paper okay. how about on this side let us check okay they are perpendicular okay next is this time we're going to fasten your drawing paper using your drafting tape okay this is the proper way of fastening your drawing paper to the drawing board. Okay, all corners must be secured. Okay. And the last one here. Okay. That is the proper way of fastening the drawing paper to your drawing board. Did you get it? The 
Okay, this time we're going to construct the borderline. Okay, when you say borderline, it is used to enclose your drawing. Okay, on the left side, we're going to need two centimeter. Okay, let's have here two centimeter. Then on the right side one centimeter on the upper portion going to the lower portion another one centimeter then on the lower portion another one centimeter Okay, let us now use our T-square and our triangle. Okay, all I have to do is you're going to slide. Okay, then slide. Look for the markings here. Then draw a horizontal line. Then slide slide our t-square and look for the markings here okay. see to it the working edge of the drawing board and the head of your t-square must be tight and close contact look for the markings then draw a horizontal line okay do not move anymore your T-square. Use your triangle to draw the vertical line. This is our marking. Okay. All I have to do is you're going to slide your triangle. Then look for the markings. Okay. This time, draw the construction line of your vertical line. Okay. Another here. All I have to do is you're going to slide. Okay. Or you can reverse the triangle. Slide. Look for. See to it the working edge of the T square and the side of your triangle. It should be close contact. Okay. Then look for the markings. Then draw. A vertical line okay next from one centimeter from one centimeter going up measure three centimeter we're going to draw the title block okay title block that is found on the lower portion three centimeter then from three three centimeter from three measure point five that is half of one in between zero to one that is point five okay. point five then use the t square okay slide the t square look for the markings here then draw a horizontal line then another slide 4.5 okay next for the first title block from 0 to 6 cm from 0 to 6 then make a markings here 6 Next, another six, then another six, next, another six. Remaining space, you're going to divide it into two equal parts. One, two, three, four. Four consecutive boxes measured 
6 cm and the remaining space divided into two equal parts okay we have here 1 2 3 4 5 point 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 5.8 divided by 2 okay the half of 5 is 2.5 then we have 0.8 that is half of 0.8 is 0 0.4 0 0.1 2 3 4 okay this is the half exactly the half okay we're going to use our triangle and the t square okay position the t square then look for the markings use your triangle look for the markings and draw vertical line slide your triangle another vertical line slide again look for the markings draw vertical line slide again then draw vertical line then the last one okay the last marking here okay this is now our borderline for block a the first block here you're going to write your the word school inside the box you're going to write Muntin Lupa the name of your school Muntin Lupa Business High School Muntin Lupa City okay here on the second box for the title block here write the word title whatever the title of your activity you're going to write here okay next the third block you're going to write here drawn by of course you're going to write your name your in section for example Juan de la Cruz grade 7 diamond okay on the fourth block you're going to write check by of course the name of your teacher and technical drawing Mrs. Fredely B. Miranda teacher okay on the second to the last box or the fifth box here you're going to write date okay the you're going to write date started ds then date finish on the last box we're going to write plate number or you can use activity number or you can use uh, performance task number then write the number for example activity number one okay since uh, this is the borderline among the alphabet of lines that is the heaviest okay this time we're going to make the heavier line okay again this is our t square slide the t square look for the horizontal line we're going to make this line heavier see to it the head of the t square is that is fit or contact with the working edge of your drawing board okay you can use soft pencil to make your lines heavier okay this is your final line okay next here you're going to start on the top the next line here another on the title block then slide look 
is the last horizontal line okay next is the vertical line okay let's make this heavier Are going to slide the triangle and the T square is fixed, do not move the T square if you're going to make vertical line. Okay, next. can see the vertical line okay. and trace the heavier line okay. that's it okay did you follow you can erase the excess line for the construction line of your borderline using your eraser but if uh, if it is uh, very light you need to erase did you get did you follow on how to construct the borderline great job I hope you follow and you learn on how to construct the borderline I hope you learn from me today don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell button for more updates and more upcoming video lessons. Bye, babies!